Welcome to another episode of Sozen Gadget Reviews. Today I'm reviewing the Fine Fine K690 USB professional recording microphone. And I'm hoping that this is going to be a significant upgrade to my audio quality on my channel and for my home office uh, making calls on a day to day basis over Zoom. I like how they label it. Understanding your voice better. Studio quality microphone. So the K690 has a microphone gain switch, a pickup pattern switch with four different, really? You got your four pickup patterns, cardioid, omni, bi-directional, and stereo pickup patterns. And you've got a really large diaphragm microphone capsule, which is gonna deliver a slightly fuller warm and clear sound. But this overall is gonna have excellent, excellent sound quality. Yeah, I mean, this is a substantial looking microphone. It comes, I don't even have to break out a knife to open this, excellent. Yeah, I haven't even opened this before. I know it looks like I have, but I haven't. <laughs> All right, what have we got here? Fine Fine K690. Now Fine Fine sent me this microphone for my review. They are not asking me for anything in particular on the review other than to just show a little bit about how to set it up and get it get it going. So I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. Let's get the microphone out here. This is nicely packaged. Now let's just pull this microphone out. It's already connected to the desk stand. So that's pretty simple. Okay, here's what it's talking about for the adapter. So we're going to use this when we want to connect this to a boom arm. I can see that this will work with the boom arm that I own, but for now I'm not going to set that up. But that'll just screw into the bottom of the microphone here. I've got the USB, man that's a mini cable, but that's, you know, I think that's standard fare for a USB microphone, is to have a fairly large connector. We're talking USB here and not XLR. This will be way simpler for the connection to your laptop if you've got a USB microphone. Basically all you're going to do is connect this USB-A connector to your laptop. And then the other side, this mini USB is going to connect absolutely right here. Plus I've got a pass through for being able to listen to what the microphone is hearing through a pair of headphones. So that should be a zero latency pass through. And that is pretty much all I'm expecting to be in the box. Yep. So we got it. The microphone, the microphone stand. We got the type A to mini B cable. We got the adapter that we talked about and we have a user's manual that we're referring to right here. Okay, so for the sake of simplicity and getting this all connected, I want this to stay. This moves, but I think I can just adjust these to tighten it down when I have it in the angle that I want and it won't move so much. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna bring out my Microsoft Surface 3 laptop. All right, so as we bring on our, as I bring on my Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, we're gonna make that connection to this USB cable and I think then we're gonna try and do a few recordings. Hopefully we get the happy path connection, which is just, we've plugged in the USB cable on the bottom here. Let's just see what we get when we connect this to the Surface Laptop 3. We got one USB port over here that we can connect to. Fi Fine logo up and connect. Okay, I immediately get power to the microphone. Setting up a device on my laptop. Now I'm gonna go into Audacity. Okay. Five, Fine Finds K690 microphone is set up and ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna go into Audacity. I had it open already, but I'm gonna go back into it to make sure that it registers, to make sure that it sees the Fine Fine K690. And it does, so I'm gonna select the Fine Fine K690 microphone, and then I'm gonna start running a few tests. So, I mean, that's all there is to it at this point in time. 
you've got the USB mic connected. I don't have a mic, a headset, pair of headphones on to do the latency-free monitoring of how well this is picking up my voice. That would actually be preferred. And there's a volume knob right on the microphone where I could adjust how loudly I hear my own voice coming through the microphone. Like this microphone is listening to me right now. If I had the headphones on, I would hear everything that I'm saying coming through the headphones and I would adjust this volume so that I could hear kind of exactly the sound of my voice that I want to be able to hear as I speak so that I know how loudly I'm gonna be heard as I record. But I don't have a pair of headphones handy, so I'm gonna to have to do that in a minute. I've got the pickup pattern set to cardioid, which means it's listening towards me. There are other patterns on here that we could choose. So we can choose the interview pattern. I don't know what the name of that is. Let's see, let's get the official names of these. Bi-directional, the bi-directional pattern. The cardioid pattern, which is perfect for uh, podcasts or YouTube videos or game streaming, vocal performances. Then there's the omnidirectional, which is this circle, this circle one, which is recording all around the microphone. And then you got the stereo recording, which looks pretty similar to uh, omnidirectional, but it's really meant to not have anything being picked up from that side. So why are these important? Well, the microphone's gonna pick up all kinds of noise from around your environment. So probably the best way to do it is to get the headphones on and listen to what it's picking up and adjust the gain on the microphone. I'm gonna start with the gain at about 50%. So this gain knob right here, is gonna allow us to adjust how loudly the microphone picks up my voice. So we'll do a couple of tests and see how it, how it goes. I think what I'll do, I'm gonna set it to cardioid, which is the perfect setting for what I'm doing. I'm gonna set the microphone volume at 25%. I've got, okay, that's mute. If I press this button and that light turns red, I'm muted. We'll test that in a minute. Gonna do a quick test. I've never done this before. I've never really used uh, a microphone with a monitor. So this is a zero latency monitor of the microphone. I plug in a pair of earbuds, headphones, whatever you choose. And when I put these on, I'm gonna be able to hear exactly what the microphone is picking up and I'll be able to figure out uh, how my sound is. And I can adjust the volume of what I hear in the microphones through this volume knob on the front so I can make it sound almost exactly natural how I sound when I talk, whether I'm wearing the headphones or not. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a bit of a reading. I've got the Fine Fine K690 pointed kind of at my chin. I'm looking over it. I'm not going to talk directly into it. I don't have a uh, pop filter on this thing. Actually, I'm just curious if I put my hand in front of it, that's probably going to actually, yeah, see, see, that takes away, <laughs> that takes away a lot of the harshness of the sound of my, of the S sounds of my voice. Let's see if I just aim this a little bit less right at my face. Towards the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. So I've been using the Fine Fine K690 for several days now. I've taken multiple cuts of this review, trying to do different things to see how I like the sound without processing it at all the best. And what I've found is that if I turn the microphone gain up too high, it's picking up a little bit too much of my breathing, of, of my surroundings. If I turn the microphone to about 50% pickup and I have it at this distance, this seems to be the sweet spot. Plus, I've added this windscreen. Now, this is just a windscreen that I had hanging around the house. You could pick these up off Amazon for like $6 for like 12 of them. I, I don't know. They're really inexpensive. And that will just take away just a little bit 
of the S sounds of your breathing, of the explosives in your voice. And as I listen to more and more of the recordings, I realize it's pretty necessary. I mean, even on my lav mic, which I have down here, my lav mic has a small, tiny little windscreen on it. I mean, that's a small price to pay for quite a nice uptick in the audio quality. Because overall, otherwise, I think the audio quality of the Fine Fine K690 is substantially better than the lav mic, substantially better than, oh my God, than the microphone on my Sony A6400, and substantially better than my Pixel 4 XL's microphone. So overall, super easy setup, fantastic features, totally easy to use, a tremendous amount of adjustability when I go beyond just trying to take Zoom calls and you know trying to do my YouTube channel videos. I would still probably process my voice just a little bit because I think I can make some nice adjustments to it. But like on this video, I'm doing nothing to the audio and I think it sounds really good, especially now that I've taken those multiple cuts and you hear the end scene here where I'm tuning the microphone the way that I think it should be tuned with the 50% gain and using that windscreen to just reduce a little bit of my crappy oration <laughs> that I think is uh, the microphone picks up too well without the windscreen. So there you have it. I have a solid purchase recommendation for this microphone from Fine Fine. I believe it's a tremendous upgrade and I'm gonna be trying to use this repeatedly on my channel and my new videos. So you can comment uh, on this video as well. You know, do you like this audio better than my previous videos and some of my more recent videos? Uh, and in my future videos when I'm using this and doing a little bit of processing, you can give me your comments and help me improve the audio on my channel. So that's my review of the Fine Fine K690. If you're doing Zoom conferences at home and you wanna upgrade your audio and be heard, be heard clearly and not have to worry about like picking up your keyboard clacking while you're talking on your microphone on your laptop or just wanting to get like professional level sound quality. This is a good way to go and it isn't that expensive. And I think, you know, everyone could do with one of these in their professional life. Thanks for watching my review with a fine, fine K690. Stay safe, everyone. And Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night.